Why hello Chantians, welcome back to my channel and in today's video, I am with another guest. I have class with him, I have lab, his name's Sebastian and we are doing a Burger King mukbang. Hey, I'm, I'm Sebastian, the one and only. Uh, you want me to do an introduction now? Yeah? Oh, just to let you know, I don't edit my mukbangs. Okay. And we got some food, as obviously the yeah. I got a Whopper and uh, two orders of chicken nuggets. I got the Impossible Whopper with onion rings. And I got the nuggets, and I got with the well the meal with the Sprite, and I also got the brownie batter. The brownie batter shake. Not smoothie, I don't know why I call it a smoothie. Um, so let's go ahead and start eating. Let me try my shake. It's really good. Did you like it? It's good. All right, so. What's the next step? We start eating. All right. <laughs> and I got barbecue sauce. So they didn't have ranch for his nuggets, which he was so upset about. And he's the type of person that puts ranch on his pizza. Yeah, it's good. I still it's don't good. know how to feel about that. Uh, people who, who don't eat ranch with their pizza they're just not they're not awake to the to the beauty of life you know they, it's, it's a sad life they live I know when I was in elementary school people used to put ketchup on their pizza mm. I don't know about ketchup, but ranch. My parents would look at me like I'm crazy. Oh, you know what I forgot to tell them? Mm. Less mayo. I don't do mayo. Mm. You want to go back? No. It's already too late. They just, the last time, the one that I got when, um, when I was, when they first came out with the Impossible Whopper down on Lake Worth Road, that Burger King right there, they loaded it up with mayo, like it was dripping in mayo. Wow. <laughs> my, my stepmom hates mayo. So, I like to joke with her and always get her like mayo flavored stuff. <laughs> Do you live with your parents? Mm -hmm. mm. I live with my mom. Mm. Your actual mom or? Yeah. Okay. And I have a twin sister that lives with my dad and my stepmom. And, uh, yeah. Um, I was born in Miami. I moved to Port St. Lucie when I was six. Uh, my first language was Spanish, by the way. So, like, I was like, it was difficult to assimilate into like American culture because like I didn't know anything of English. But um, and then after Port St. Lucie, I moved to. West Palm when I was around 11, 12. That was another culture shock because I was the the only like uh, I don't want to say I moved into the ghetto because I moved into like but 
there was a lot of I don't know how to how to word it. Um, there was like a lot of loud people, and like when I was in in Port St. Lucie, everyone was like quiet and like respectful. And then in Bear Lakes, everyone was like, I guess maybe because it was middle school too, but you no, know, whatever. Yeah, that I, we only want to talk about that school. My mom works for the school board, so yeah. Right now she works at Polo Park Middle. So. Mm. Yeah. I went to Bear Lakes Middle School. Which high school did you go to? Suncoast Community High School. I think you go to um, Palm Beach Lakes. That's where you went? Mm-mm. Where, where'd you go? Summer Ridge on the Egg Ridge. Mm. Did you do a program there? Did yeah, I did uh, biotech. Oh, cool. So I was doing labs and I was in high school. Wow. Yeah, mine, mine had... I went to computer science. That was... It was hard. And it was... Uh, no, I realized it wasn't for me. Because, like... You're just looking at text all day. Yeah, no. Yeah. Coding, not for me. Especially not with the teacher I had. He was... He was a grumpy guy. <laughs> what are you uh, planning on majoring in? Mm. I'm planning on planning on getting my AA in biology and then I want to transfer to either FAU or FIU and then study neuroscience so I'm right now I'm, I'm looking at which schools like will give me the best financial aid and um, I'm trying to see which labs each school has for neuroscience because yeah, FIU has some pretty cool ones, and so does FAU. But mm, I'm really just interested in like mental health and like EEG studies. So yeah, that's what I'm looking for. What about you? I'm either debating on whether or not I'm majoring in bio or business and cosmetology. Mm. I never heard of that major. Business, business, and cosmetology. Yeah, there's like specific schools that you can go to. Oh, cool. Mm. Yeah, they definitely loaded this with a lot of mayo, and they put ketchup in it, which I don't mind the ketchup, but it's the mayo. Is it good though? Yeah. I like mayo. I don't. The only thing I really eat mayo in, mayo with, is like pasta salad. Oh. What do you mean? Pasta salad? What is that? Like, oh, yeah. Like the one they saw at Publix? Yeah. Except my mom makes it fresh. Oh, cool. My mom didn't learn how to cook until... Um, a few years ago, but now she cooks really good. This is crazy. Um, I don't know how to cook, so I don't know why I'm judging her. <laughs> uh, but what do you want to do with your your degree? Like, with if it was bio, I'd want to make uh, I'd re um go for um like working on like the diseases and stuff like what they do with um covid right now now they're working on it to try to find like the cure how they have the vaccine for it 
and so that's what I do with bio, but with business and cosmetology, I'd want to run my own business, which I mean, I plan on doing one day anyways. And yeah, with bio, I'd be able to branch off into any uh, department. Yes. You could, with bio, you could probably like investigate how to make like natural cosmetics. That's what you're thinking about? Cool. Using natural ingredients. Can you open that up? Pass me that again. Yeah, that's the trend. Uh, everything's going natural mm -hmm. and organic. Which I like. I like that. So which shows have you been watching? Um, I've been watching... Well, the shows that I like... Um, I like, like, cyberpunk shows. I like... Futuristic shows. A movie I just watched was Dune. That movie was really good. Yeah. Um, Question, did you see the original? The original dude? No. There's an original? Like in the 1970s, I think. Oh, wow. I think my mom said that she has it recorded on the TV if you want to watch it. Mm. I don't know. My parents said that it wasn't that good. Visually, it was really good. It was a lot of quiet moments, but I feel like the atmosphere of the movie was really good. It was very... A lot of people were upset that Zendaya didn't get enough screen time. I think she will get like a more screen time in the next movie. Because this is like a book series. Mm -hmm. Did you read the book? No, I saw, I saw they were selling it though. Yeah. Do you read, do you read any books? I haven't read the books, no. No, I mean, do you read books like in general? Yeah. Oh, I Not know. lately, not after I graduated high school, but I've been trying. I just don't have time. Yeah, I feel you. Been so busy with work. Target screwing me over. Why? So you know how we have class on Fridays. Mm -hmm. Just because it's a day that after Thanksgiving, don't try scheduling me if you know that that's not in my availability. Mm. My job's doing the same thing. Stupid. Like, I get that you're short staffed and all, but if it says I'm not available, don't try to schedule me. Ask me first. Yeah. Like, don't assume, oh, it's Thanksgiving week. Um, schools must be closed all week. No, that's just public schools. Yeah. Like, grade school. <laughs> My mom does the same thing. She, she thinks, oh, yeah. She says this every time. She says, oh, because she works in the school. She yeah. says, Oh, my school's gonna be closed that day, so what do you want to do that day? I said, Mom, we don't have the same schedule. Right? I have to explain it to her over and over. And of course, it's raining. That's Florida for you. Sunshine today. There ain't no sunshine right now. I think because it's getting colder, that that's why it's raining more. Oh yeah, the cold fronts. Yeah. Yeah. Do you want an onion ring? I just 
we like us Floridian. Well, I can't really say I'm a Floridian because even though I was raised here, why not? I was born in Maryland. Oh, what's Maryland like? Mm -hmm. I hear I hear it's boring. Right by DC. Well, Washington DC. That Washington DC always gets me confused because sometimes I think it's in Virginia. Or is it in the state of Washington? And now apparently it's in Maryland? I don't know. It's right in between Maryland and Virginia. Oh. It used to be in New York. The state capital used to be in New York. Not the state capital, that. Oh, I was about to ask. <laughs> the, um, the country's capital. When was that? When I was in like, still during the declaration era. And I, I relearned that when I took history to 1865. Mm -hmm. But evidently with the whole scheduling thing, it, they switched it to where now if you take, you have to take the two um, coinciding classes, like if you take English to 1865, you'd have to take history to 1865. But when I first started, it was vice versa. It was, you, if you take history to 1865, you have to take English from 1865. So now that I have to take another class, I played you. Yeah. We should sue them. Well, I'm hoping that I get the um, the grant again, where, where they give you the thousand dollars again. Oh yeah. You ever get those like hard grains on your on your meats? My meat? On your meats? Like in chicken or steak? Chicken. Yeah. I just got one. I think I, think I got enough food. I'm, I'm pretty full. Cool. Yeah, I ate my lot. Like I said, you'd be surprised at how much I eat in my milk box. And like I said, I call myself fat when I'm done. No, I, I don't like the word fat. I, I prefer, that's why I say I'm pregnant. <laughs> you yeah. stole that from me. No. <laughs> yes. I, I say that all the time. You stole that from me. We were talking about last night about how he was eating a bowl of a tub of ice cream instead of studying. Oh yeah. And you said, cause I'm fat. That was at one time. Sure. So what else do you like to do? I pretty much either watch TV or go through my social media. Sometimes I, uh, if I get in like the vibe, I have, I, uh, get like little lyrics that come to my head. Oh, cool. You want to, oh, this isn't to my, to my song. So I could like, you know, uh, I don't know, oh, I don't know. I don't know where you put it. What's right here? Uh, I'm forgetful, so. You and me both. All right. I'm gonna bless all the viewers' ears with my wonderful beats. And we will be linking. Uh, I will be attaching his his name down in the description below.
is my my account. Oh, it's backwards. Oh, they can't see it. Alright. So this is my newest beat. It's called Icy. And I'm 
that song. This is my second song. Uh, actually, you know, I'm gonna stop there. I'm gonna stop there. I'm gonna let the fans decide if they want to hear more. The chansons. The chansons. Uh, so I want to hear your your stuff. You don't have it. Uh, that's enough of me plugging my my sound phone. So. Thank you guys for watching the video. And where can they find you? Oh, uh, my Instagram is O O U U S E B. That's U Seb. Yeah. And my SoundCloud is Sebi1. Yeah. And again, thank you for watching the video. Hope you guys liked it. Don't forget to thumbs up in the section down below. Don't forget to comment down below. Any video deals you want me to do. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and ring that bell icon so you get notified every time I post a new video. Bye guys, love you! Bye!